from the title you see that this was a thousand dollar trade and i'll get into it today this trade would have been a thousand dollar trade if i had let it run probably i'll show you that how i entered in the market today i actually made two hundred dollars on the day i cut it short i could have made a lot more money i mean i kind of have a problem with letting winners ride sometime but i'll show you the strategy and then i think we can turn this into a ten thousand dollar strategy a hundred thousand dollar strategy hopefully i find more effectiveness and kind of get to study this a lot more right so let's make this smaller so you can see what i'm showing you so i entered three trades today right and some were like early, some were um, middle day too as well. But I'll show you what I was seeing today, right? And Perry, thank you, bro. Like, I think I'm seeing something here. I don't know if I'm be getting lucky, but there might be something here. So I drew this zone as the next level of possible demand or supply, like a zone. Cause I saw it come right up there and then it bounced like multiple times and then seemed to just play off of this area today. I entered a trade at this area, but as I said, I just sold it early. So I think I have a problem with letting winners ride and I'm just going to kind of fine tune work on that. And once the consistency is there, this strategy can be scaled to a lot and I have a 50% win rate. Now you can see that here. All right. So the first trade, and I got the always on top setup so you can see the trades and you can see the charts over here. So I'm trading the NASDAQ 100, 15 minute chart. So the first trade was at 6.23. And let's see what, where was that now? So 6.23, I think I actually drew where I entered here. So th is this a 6.15 candle? Yeah actually showed somebody this trade today so i entered here to the buy side and then i closed the trade at six on the 645 candle as it got into this area 645 okay hopefully you're seeing this very clear i think my screen is a little further from me Let's make this kind of bigger. So I entered here to the buy side. From this, I would say, zone coming into this zone. It was just, uh, that was just what the trade was telling me. Wasn't using much indicators, I must say. And then I, end, I closed it at 13.984.9. So this is where I closed the trade. So I entered here to the buy side, closed it here. I, th I entered to the sell side here, looking for a rejection. And then it was like a fake out and I had to close it very quick. So 8.30, you'll see the 8.30 candle here. And then I entered at 13.976.4. And if I was to just slow down and explain what I'm seeing here, like, it's just, if you're really listening to this, you really need to ask a question in the comments and then let's talk about it. But just like taking it from a zone to a zone and knowing that the market is moving in a certain way. So I know that today is Friday. NVIDIA just had great earnings. There's a lot of catalysts that are, telling me that the market might go up to a zone going like parabolic like this i didn't know but psh, it's something that can be speculated on right so i entered here to the sell side and then on this reversal candle i sold it i remember it clearly because i was looking at the candles as they were forming during the day so this one i closed it at 13978.6 so I closed that there for a loss of four dollars and then 
enter to the buy side at 930 so this was a 930 candle so you see I hit the <laughs> the jackpot candle that kicked it off and I entered here 3984.7 so right there and then I closed it on the 945 candle this one 940 so the next candle over closed it at 14 5.4 the thing about me closing it there is like my target was 14,000 on the Nasdaq 100 to see it go to 14,085 was like whoa solid you know like that's a high for me right but the Nasdaq continued look at this look at this trade look at this trade the Nasdaq continued up until 14 328 right so i entered at 13984 this is a four let me see at minimum $300 trade clean cut profit $300 trade so versus me getting yeah but just not looking at that cuz i just want to ensure i can get moves like this when you get the winners i'm going to learn to let them ride and that's basically it if anybody can tell me how i can fine tune the strategy more or put me onto some more information as i'll be studying tonight and over this weekend and let's see how this goes right i'll see you in the next video um so you see the platform we've been having some good days so it's just understanding these zones and trying to play off of these zones and i'll see if i can build a strategy there but i'll see you in the next video hope you like it it's nice short and i'll try to get it to you before too late bye bye